just so utterly nothing will be left. I've heard that one before. Activate Evergreen. Confirm. Are you so far gone you don't recognize yourself? This is JP Linkster 101 on the Hump Day Show, along with my good friend, buddy JP. Uh, we're here to discuss and review uh, Altered Carbon Season 2. Now, this show is very, very complicated in my opinion. If you have not watched Season 1, you won't understand shit in Season 2. There's just too much language uh, and, and themes and lore that goes through all of this. So we're just gonna briefly touch upon the story. Um, so, JP, go ahead, take over, let me know. All right, so, sorry, so folks, here's, here's a breakdown of the universe as it is. So basically, this is in the future. Uh, we've discovered a, and we've discovered interstellar travel. And so we've also discovered a, an element from an ancient race that allows us to basically transmit our, our entire conscience into what they call a stack. Basically, it's a small little disc that goes in the back of your neck. You can then use that to transfer your conscience across, you know, universes. So you can go from one world to another. Immortality. Well, it, it, it ends up happening like that. They have people they call Methuselahs who end up, you know, have enough money, they have enough power, and they can basically just create clones of themselves. So if they die, so if, if their, their body or, as they call it in this universe, a sleeve dies, they're automatically transferred into their next next uh, next sleeve. Now, the thing is, though, if you're – well, for most of us, you know, most of the uh, underlings, or the lower people, if you're – um, stack is destroyed, that's real death. You cannot come back from that. But a lot of these Methuselahs or Meths have backups and stuff like that. And so that's basically what the uh, first season about is how one of the Meths got a, uh, ends, up, ends, up, ends up dying, but he doesn't know how he died because his backup did happen after, was, was going to happen after he died. So he doesn't know how he died. And our, our hero, Takeshi Kovacs, has to go through and figure out how that happened while utilizing everybody in his uh, in arsenal. I don't want to tell you guys too much about the f- first season. That's basically the, the run on just a bit. If I tell you too much about the first season, it really takes away from that first season. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy seeing the first season by yourself, you know, just for that little bit of knowledge that I gave you. So we'll move yeah. from there. Well, this one, season two, it stars Anthony Mackie as the hero, Anthony Kovac. So Kovac, this takes place 50 years after the first season. Right. Uh, and essentially, Kovac is still looking out for his love. And keep in mind, guys, this is just spoilers from now on. Um, if you need to go watch season one, you know, before you guys start he- hearing about season two. But back to the topic. Uh, so Kovac is searching for his lost love. Um, and this sometimes, it does jump timelines a bit. You, you see exactly how stacks were created. And, and you see how things were made in that planet. Because the planet is the hometown of where well, Kovac is. This the, the home planet, I guess. The planet they're on has actually been created, but they just found one, a, a nest of the elders. Correct. And you know, and so basically, what happens is the guys who found the planet said, "Hey, we're not going to share this planet with anybody," and they destroyed this nest, which causes a whole lot of problems with the surviving elder, who somehow survives in the in the destruction of what they've done. So. In some tree or something. Uh, I, I don't think it was actually a tree. Oh, oh yeah, the, the the trees they use are actually uh, conduits for the for a lot of the metal that they use. You know, they're actually they're kind of living living. Uh, tra- not, not transportation, almost almost like con- transportation of consciousness for these elders, okay. you know. Um, and I, it's, they're called they're called song spires, what they're called. Um, yeah. They're real beautiful, they're very rare. And so yeah, so one of the, the elders was able to put her, you know, her red her nest was in the butt in the tree of this of the of the song spire, and when they got destroyed, she somehow put her consciousness into this uh, song spire, and then it was accidentally picked up when they, you know, somebody came into this came into this sealed caravan and. Uh, Touch the touch the uh, the limb of her. So. So we find out that Kovac's sister is uh, um, um, she saved his love of his life and had her trapped for a very long long time. Her conscience, because uh, she puts her under this tree or whatever, and somehow the conscience of that elder gets put into her stacks and they share her body. Uh, right. Basically, the the story of season two is Kovac finding this information out. Not only that, we see that. Um, uh, the, the enforcers, which I would say is like the stormtroopers, I guess. Protectorate, protectorate. The protectorate. Yeah. Um, the one, they have this leader who was actually one of the main guys that um, uh, uh, trained Kovach and got. Yeah, him. he was. He was. He picked up Kovach in the first season. Uh, he picked up Kovach after Kovach had to kill his own father because his own father was trying to kill him and his sister. 
And so instead of so fuck those shit, y'all. Yeah. And so, so <laughs> instead of saying, hey, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put you on, we're gonna put you what they call it, put it on ice, where they basically put their stack into a, in storage, and so you you can't do anything for however a certain number, a certain period of time. He said, okay, you know what? We're gonna train you to be a protector. And so basically, he takes him and you know, he's using his sister as as kind of uh, collateral, makes him makes Kovac a protector soldier. So. Yes, correct. So um, Kovacs, of course, is has been trying to find his long lost love. There's his interaction where he's a singer, like at the very beginning, he's like some singer singing. I don't he's, know how he even got into that body. He, he's in hiding. No explanation. No. Well, see, that's 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 the reason why you have to watch season one because season one really explains how stacks work, how sleeves work. I mean, and, and to be honest, they really set up the ability to change out actors. We're using this technology. You know, it's kind of like the whole Doctor Who thing. You know, regeneration. That's how they set it up so they can make new more. I'm new actor with Doctor Who. Same thing with this one. With stacks and sleeves, basically your stack can go into any sleeve whatsoever. You can actually do what they call cross-sleeving, which goes means you go from a man to a woman. Or a woman to a man, you know, back and forth. Um, so it, it's it's real. I said the technology is actually pretty good. I said they've explained everything really well in the first season. That's why, again, if you haven't watched the first season, it didn't, the second season won't make any sense. But... That's what it was. He was a, he was a lounge singer in disguise because he people didn't know who he was anymore. He, he had to give up his first sleeve at the end of uh, season one, and so he would pick he picked a new sleeve, and was basically in hiding so people wouldn't figure out who he was. And oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That does make sense. That does make yeah. sense. Sorry guys, it's just, it was a long show. <laughs> so uh, basically, you know, he's going through trying to find stuff on his wife. Uh, his, well, I mean, because they did get kind of married, didn't they? Weren't they like together on season um, one? They were together, but they never actually got married. They were actually finally, you know, they finally kind of started having a romantic relationship before the yeah, whole. Yeah, she was training him. She was training yeah, training him. him. And they, they started a romantic relationship before um, they started before his uh, the whole continuum they were working like got wiped out. Yeah, you know? so then he just he just goes on this mission, and while this is going on, uh, this elder this elder is created. She starts going on a rampage, and she's with the she's sharing the same stack with the lover. Yeah, and they start killing everybody who, but not it's not even everybody because the original people are already dead. Um, no, they weren't. That's the thing. The founders were still alive. That's the whole. No, that was because the, whole the dad was dead. The dad. Well, was well the dad. The only only the dad was. Everybody else was still alive. That's why. The that's why she was killing him. Captain of the ship right. that right. shows up at the planet and, and yeah, he kills was, the he was one, he was one. He was one. Yeah, named named the world after him. It was Harlan's world, so he was the yeah, he was the main guy. But you know, he was he was the only one she couldn't find it until you know until the very end. So. Yes. So we find out that uh, the dad was killed by his daughter uh, yeah. after several centuries because she, she felt like he was giving up her fortune. She takes over power and control. Uh, this elder comes killing everything. The blame is put on Kovacs. There's a hunt for Kovacs. Uh, we find out that uh, the, the protectorate uh, uh, cre- created a clone of Kovacs. Not only that, they, they took his stack and they re-downloaded it. So it's like, yeah. which is very illegal. So which is him, well, but like they would, a clone of him. They so would save any memories up to a certain point. They would just save the copies of them. So like, if say his stack had been destroyed, they could they could what they call spin him back up into a new body. And that, right. they would, that wouldn't be illegal because it would just be he wouldn't be a you cannot double sleeve in this universe. If you double sleeve, that's considered a real death offense, and you can both your both your stacks would be destroyed at that point. Um, mm-hmm. But they they do backups all the time, and so that's how the meths stay in power. Because they back up their, their uh, stacks all the time as well. So yes, if you guys are watching this and you don't know none of this terminology, go watch season one. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. anyways, point is, uh, they, they they all find each other during this final battle, uh, at where we, you know they they come up with this plan. They're trying to take the elder god out of the lover and separate them. Um, they get betrayed in that process, and Kovacs has to give up his life in order to save. Now, there's two Kovacs. So the original Kovacs gives up his life. Right, okay. Anthony Mackie. Uh, we'll say Anthony Mackie Kovacs. Yes, Anthony Mackie Kovacs gives up his life. The other yeah. Kovacs survives and he gets left behind with his, with the lover, but he doesn't know it's his lover because he has no memories of it. Because well, he he's knows, just a, he's he just knows, a backup he, copy. He knows because they've talked about it throughout the series. They do. They, they, he and the other, he and the, uh, Anthony Mackie Kovacs end up talking to each other about what's going on. So he knows that there has been something going on between the. Uh, Kovacs, you know, the Kovacs Correct. and Kelcrest. So, they just don't know how strong and deep it is. So it leaves it in the queue where we see Poe. Poe is one of the main characters that helps him out during this process. He's going through his own thing where he's dying, but it's not really dying. It's well, basically initiative where where he knows 
that they're going to reset him because he's kind of like a program like the Matrix. He knows they're going to reset him, but he doesn't want to be reset because if they reset him, he loses all his memory and every capability that he – everything that he learned up to a certain point. So now he knows what it's like to be a human being and die because if they reset him, it's like he's never – the, the original him isn't going to exist. So he's trying to do all these things at the same time. And the last thing he does is he makes his code and he replicates from the looks of it. As Just again, replicate Kovacs, yeah. Yeah, he, he, the original Kovacs. He saved the original Kovacs. Yeah, no, the, from the looks of it. Quote the, thing, the thing with Poe is the way he's so glitchy is in season one, towards the end, his data was corrupted by one of the bad guys. And so that's why he's so glitchy now. I mean, he can't. He'll have a point where, I mean, for some of you who know, haven't seen this yet, he has a point where he'll get to a certain point where his, his data just can't hold it anymore, and he glitches and he forgets what you were talking about. So, yeah. like, we'll be sitting there talking about this, and he'll be like, oh, what were we talking about? You know, and okay. so, and usually they have a little, little uh, key thing that they'll show you, like, he'll, have, he'll be looking at, he'll hear a ticking watch. And all of a yeah. sudden, you'll be like, oh, I can't remember what we're talking about, so. And that pretty much says of season two. Um, yeah. So, let me just jump in real quick to what we liked about the show. Now, what I've always liked about the show is just the fact that it is very futuristic and way ahead of its time. And it kind of makes you think in a way because of the stacks. Stacks, I think, um, in the book is a very such original idea. Uh, the idea of a stack is more than likely what we humans have been trying to obtain for a long, long time, that immortality. Right. I love how they play with that theme of being Im- immortal, but really, really not immortal. What did you yeah. like about the show? Um, I like I said you know like the whole stacks idea I like that they were able to again I like how they can they set it up so that um, you can that you can change bodies and be able to hide if you wanted to people would really know who you are yeah you know, that was always a great thing that was one of the great thing about the first season you know um, the thing that I think really made it uh, great was you, you know they they delved into the whole uh, meth uh, thing again where you had people who had been around forever you know yeah. around for two three hundred years back yeah. and again they pulled that out. And so you, you, you got to delve into that a little bit more, but they have found a way to take that away with Kelcrest and the and the uh, elder, you know, because I mean, she wouldn't just kill them. She would she would because if you just fill the sleeve of the bang, you know, they pop it in their sleep. Mm-hmm. She would erase them from the body and erase them from their backups. So basically, she would real death them as well. It's a real death. And and the funny yeah. thing is, I like how they showed the disparagement between the rich and the poor. Like yeah. the fact that they can always live forever for 200, 300, 400 years. And it just goes to show you, you know, that tier of 1% in that world is so powerful um, and that they can do these things and just last for centuries and just build on their wealth that they have already yeah. collected. And I also also liked how you got to see uh, elder technology in this one. You know, because yes. in the first series, you didn't see much of that. It was mostly just humans. But in this one, I mean, you got to see some of the stuff the elders had built. They had a satellite system in place. And you see your first elders. Elder, yeah, and you see your first elder, too. So, so you know, it's, and it's, it's just crazy how, how that all turned out. Uh, but right. I really like that. Um, uh, it, it, it did go through a lot of, I think, uh, of uh, explaining at the very beginning. I know it feels like it runs through, but it really doesn't. It explains everything in pretty much detail. It slows down for the viewer. I did like that method. I just felt like they prolonged that. Um, but now let's get into what we did not like. And I'm going to be upfront. Anthony Mack, Mackey, his acting range, Lord Jesus have mercy. Is it, is it, was it just me? Well, I, he, just, it, I just didn't it, like his acting at all. With this character, it was with this character, it actually was good because the first Kovacs was more, he's kind of distant, he's kind of aloof. You know, he still cared about people, but he was kind of trying to keep himself distant from people. And I think Anthony Mackie was able to play that part off in this one a little bit as well, just as well, you know, in my opinion. You know, I, th- I think he pulled that off, that part off and just so – because, again, you know, he, uh, Kovacs was not a kind of happy kind of guy. He was more of a – he was a realist. You know, he'd been through so much – been a lot through yeah, a lot of trauma, so you know. Such a long time. Yeah, I so. I just feel like there were so much better actors out there that they could have got. I feel like his acting range was to a certain point. Like yeah. actiony, and he couldn't go up to drama. Like yeah. he was just stuck there. And like the only thing is, is like he's showing his buffness and his new uh, upgrades because that's his new sleeve for yeah. Kovacs. Um, but I, I think his acting range needed to improve. What didn't you like about the scene? Um, I, I didn't like the pace of it. In the first one, it was more fast paced. It was a lot quicker, and it was a lot more mysterious. You know, there was a whole lot of stuff that. Oh. No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. Um, I just didn't think it was. I didn't. It wasn't as fast paced as the original, as the first season. Um, and like I said, it wasn't it wasn't as mysterious. You know, you didn't know until the very last episode. You had no idea what was really going on. Exactly. You know, you didn't really know what was going on with the sister. You didn't really know what was going on with the meths. And this one, it was more, 
I mean, it was kind of predictable. I kind of predict. I, I really, really, I figured the daughter had killed her dad. I didn't think it was really in. Some I thought it was pretty spot. obvious too. Yeah. I thought it was pretty obvious too. Like, yeah, so. It just, it just. I, I think that they didn't, they didn't give you, keep you in, in, in like incentivized to yeah. keep watching. Uh, I think that was one of the things that the season one had because it was more like a detective story. Uh, this one was more, I think, based on action. I guess I could say, and the explanations on what happened on right. season one to this season. So I get your point. Um, I, I think that outside of that, Anthony Mackie, the, the guy who played Edgar Allan Poe, great job. Yeah. Uh, I, I think pretty much everyone that they got as a cast for a TV show is actually pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, they did a very well job, great job. I do like how they pulled the cameos out from the first season as well, you know, with the, with the different characters. You know, they got... Yeah, the, the girl he was kind of in love with, you know, the the the, the Hispanic the Hispanic uh, police officer. Uh, she was in the in the in the fight ring with him. Um, you had the, that the guy he was working with. He was in the fight ring with him. He had the, had, you know, his sister. You know, was, she was the she was in there, and then of course she had Kilchrist, you know, in the fight ring. So I like how they pulled those cameos back in there, and so you got to see them, um, see a few other other characters from the first season back in this season as well. I, I did like that part. Yes, and it wouldn't surprise me that they're. There is a season three. Do you think there will be a season three? I think there no, will be. I honestly can't say. Like I said, this one this one was not as fast paced as the first one. I don't think people are going to enjoy it as much as they did. But uh, I would like to see a season three. I'd like to see what they do because there is still so much of the story they can tell. You know, they yeah. left pretty good. And they can always get a good, 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 uh, a good. Uh, I would say actor, like a very famous actor, with yeah. good acting chops, and that person will bring butts to seats and make people watch the show. I think. Yeah, because. Uh, Joel Kinnaman, that was his name. That's the, that's the guy who first played um, mm-hmm. him. Anyway, he's, he's, been, he's had some good stuff. Like, he was in the, the remake of RoboCop. Yeah, uh, he, he that was squad. No, no, but he, I think he played, uh, on the show that may not have been good, but I think he played real well in it. Oh, okay. You know, I think in the story, so, so, so he was in Suicide Squad as well, so. Overall, what would you rate the, the season? Um, I would probably uh, one, out one, one out of ten. One out of ten. I'd like to do fives. Um, I'd say probably about a six. Six. Yeah, yeah I was six. I was gonna give it about the exact same. Yeah, the first one I would give it a nine because it was like I said, it was on par with some really good acting, really yeah. good storyline. But this one is just like this one, guys, know. is not as great as the first. You come in with this high expectation, and yeah. the moment you start watching the show and on how it's paced and uh, the acting, I'm telling you, the acting chops are not that good by Anthony Mack. Maybe this was just something he was practicing to get back into that to that type of uh, of uh, acting. I think it might have been rushed. I think it might have rushed because I think it's. I think that's why we were talking about with the Witcher. I hope they don't rush it because yeah. this was rushed because uh, Ultra, Ultra Carbon came out. I think late in last year, you know, and so this one came out real quick after that. And I don't think it should have been. Well, actually, it was coming out in 2018, but still, I mean, it was it was. It, that, it, it was like a year and a half turnaround. So I mean, yeah, it, I give it a six as well. Yeah. Not it's just really not good acting in a lot of ways. A lot of good action. A lot of good scenes here and there. Um, if you don't haven't seen the story, you're not gonna get much. It's not something where you just up and just stop watching and then watch the new season and not get confused or anything. Yeah. Ain't it's not gonna happen. You will get confused. You definitely cannot jump into season two without watching season one if you want to do it. Yeah, I think they left a cliffhanger for season three if the fans like it enough. Mm-hmm. I don't think the fans like it enough. I don't really think there will be a season three as well. Uh, but anything else you want to add on, uh, JD, in regards to the season two of All to the Cow- Carbon? No, that's pretty sure. Yeah, it's, it's got an eight point one out of all of so far out of rating. So I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. But it, it, it's it's not like it was when it first came out. Right. But right. you know, we'll see if season three comes out. So this has been our review, our very short, brief review of Altered Carbon Season 2. Uh, tell us what you guys think. Please like and subscribe down below. Give us your comments. Do you think Altered Carbon Season 2 was worth worth the watch? I binge watched the shit out of this thing. And to me, I was like, damn, I could have watched all of The Office and all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I could have watched all because I think they're going to take The Office off. Or they didn't take The Office anyway, off. I'm not sure, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, but that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, please follow, like, and subscribe. Uh, peace! Night, laters.